So many of my friends uh, have chronic pain, and see that makes things a little bit a little more complicated because um, a lot of the videos that I have talk are more talking about people who have addictions or um, you know depression and anxiety and stuff that don't have chronic pain. You know, it's a lot easier to talk about those things when that is the problem. But what happens when? Well, I'm addicted because I'm in constant pain, and then I got addicted to drugs. So I mean, what happens when you're depressed because you can't do things like normal people because you're in chronic pain? What happens when? See so, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, sometimes it feels like there's no point to living. Sometimes it feels like, you know, what am I going to do? There's, there's, I, I can't push past this. And I, and I want to just take a bit and take a moment to talk about that. Um, Obviously, this video will not be the only video that I make about this because it's a very complicated subject, and uh, it's 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 something that uh, I don't think gets a whole lot of attention, and so as a result, I, I'm just gonna I, it's gonna be something that I have to talk about in different perspectives at different times. So, okay, let's talk about living with chronic pain. The first thing is it's hard and it sucks, but you have to remember that people will not understand you. Nobody will understand you. You're gonna you're gonna go through something and they're gonna say, well, why don't you want to do this? Why don't you do this? And people are not gonna not they're not gonna understand you. When when they prove that they don't understand you, just let it go, because they're gonna say things that are unintentionally hurtful. They're gonna do things that are unintentionally hurtful, and, and maybe they maybe they are being intentionally hurtful. I don't know. But either way, at the end of the day, the only person who knows what it feels like to be in constant pain is you. Nobody else knows how it is to be you except for you. And uh, that's hard, and it sometimes feels lonely. But remember to cut people cut people a break. And, you know, I just hope that it doesn't happen to them. Um, it, it's – there right there is a major big problem. People in chronic pain – feel separated and then people w without pain they just kind of separate from people so it's like it's a compound problem and it's just unfortunately there's no real easy out on that one it's something that needs to be talked about needs to be addressed needs to be realized and unfortunately we typically don't care until we're the one who's in pain so that's definitely a problem something that we sh we, we need to figure out some way to get past and to fix but uh, well, I guess it is what it is. Um, another thing that is worth thinking about is you have to separate imagined pain from actual pain. Sometimes you'll be so used to being in pain that you'll just imagine pain. It's like phantom pain. Sometimes you'll just – it's hard to say. It's like you get addicted to the pain and um, – so then it's like when you're not in pain, you, you, you convince yourself that you are in pain. Now, this isn't true for everyone, so if this isn't you, don't take it personally when I'm, when I'm saying here, okay? Um, sometimes we just get so used to hurting. Um, sometimes we hide behind our hurt. Um, I know, for instance, I'll, I'll use a less extreme example, you know, people who are uh, emotionally hurting through, like, anxiety. Um, sometimes you, you get to where the anxiety is a crutch, but then it's a crutch that you kind of enjoy because you get to get out of things you really don't want to do. And you see what I mean? I hope you I hope you get what I'm saying. So you have to separate the imagined pains from the actual pains um, because if you're if you're uh, convincing yourself I can't do it, I'm in you know sometimes you convince yourself that the problem is worse than it is. I'm not trying to say chronic pain isn't bad enough by itself, but sometimes we make our problems worse by um, by just uh, kind of talking ourselves into it. Now, once again, please don't take that personally. That's not something that everybody does. Okay. Um, something that that oftentimes we don't realize is that when you have stressors in your life, it'll oftentimes make you feel worse. So this next little little tip is remove or limit stressors. I mean, obviously, you can't live a stress-free life. It's just not going to happen. There's there will always be something that stresses you. Um, but you can learn how to deal with it. You can uh, try to limit those stressors. Um, and in, in reducing the amount of things that are stressing you out, it can reduce pain because obviously our mind has just uh, unbelievable uh, impact on our body. Um, I would also take this time to say try and stay away from the, the weirdo things. A lot of times people try and sell you something. 
Oh, you're in pain. And it, it really irritates me when Christians do this. Oh, you're in pain. If you give to my ministry, I'll give you this thing, and you'll be miraculously healed. <sighs> Don't get sucked into that kind of stuff. That's just nonsense. Just, uh, and then there's going to be the faith healers, you know. Oh, um, I command you to be not in pain anymore. And it's like... Some of them mean well, and some of them are just crooks. Yes, God is fully able to heal, and I'm not trying to deny that at all. But there's a difference between God healing and somebody putting themselves in God's shoes and saying, I have power over your body. There's a big difference there. I think that sometimes Christians forget where their power comes from, and uh, they try to live in the flesh and then claim the power of the spirit. That just doesn't happen. Anyways, um, <clears throat> connected with that, I'm, uh, there's no easy way to say it, so I'll just say it. If you're in chronic pain, don't just say it's because of my lack of faith. If I had faith, I wouldn't be in pain. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. It, it hurts my heart that there's people who believe that. And it, and it hurts my heart that there's so many people who teach it. It's one of those things... I've dealt with this for a long time in the church, in churches, the church in general, not not necessarily my church. Um, there's just kind of this this idea that if you have a problem, it's because you have a lack of faith. Yes, there are examples of people getting punished uh, as a consequence of their life. I, I, I get that. But that doesn't mean that every single time is a then, okay? Um, sometimes it's just like, okay, I was goofing off on a motorcycle and I got hurt. Now that's not to say that God can't heal, but not every single time that a person goes through pain is it some kind of a faith issue. I really feel like that's something that people don't... We spiritualize things, especially when we're in chronic pain because we overthink things and... Uh, uh, what a rough, what, what a rough thing. People un unintentionally, you know, pile on guilt and shame onto these people who are already experiencing day-to-day -day pain, and it's just... <sighs> Anyways, don't overdo it. There's going to be some days when you feel better than other days. Um, it's important that you don't think, ah, I'm, invi I'm invincible. Maybe my problem just disappeared and I don't have any problems anymore. Just be careful with that. Um, don't overdo it. Learn. You have to learn how to change... You have to learn to change how you live. Maybe, for instance, um, you can stop heavy lifting. Maybe you can get a different job. Maybe you know a lot of different things. You have to learn how to how to change how you're how you're kind of dealing with stuff and and, and whatnot. Um, here, another thing: don't compare yourself to others. Some people are going to be uh, more capable to do things than, uh, than you. Don't take it personally. Um, if someone else is not in chronic pain, then you know there's going to be some things that they're going to be able to do that you can't. That's that's hard to deal with because we like to think that we're invincible and immortal and stuff, but we're not. And, uh, you know, one thing that I think, think about is in the book of Leviticus, it specifically mentions that as people were getting older, as the Levites were getting older, they had to stop lifting stuff for the tabernacle. They had to stop moving stuff. Uh, they had to let the younger guys do it. Um, and I think that that was a lesson for the younger people, obviously, to respect the elderly, but I think it was also a lesson for the elderly that, hey, you know, don't be stupid. And sometimes we act stupid just to try and prove to ourselves or prove to somebody else. I don't know, maybe we just get scared that we're becoming obsolete or something like that. Don't don't feel like that. Really, don't, don't, don't feel like that. It's a natural thing to think, but it's just not true. Um, so don't, don't compare yourself to others. Um, find things that you can do that distracts you, maybe. Um, maybe, for instance, uh, you can still play the guitar, or maybe you can um, encourage people online. Maybe you can do uh, videos or something. Maybe, there, surely there's something that, that you can do. You just have to be a little bit creative thinker. And the problem is, is it's hard for us to be a creative thinker if we're doing something that we've never, never done before. So uh, you might have to start doing something that you've never done before. That's, that's true. Find things that you can do. Um, another thing is change your diet. There are some things that we eat that make our bodies feel worse when we're in chronic pain. Um, obviously, I, I'm not saying that if you just change what you're eating, all your problems will go away. 
but it can help you manage them, help them be less um, less intense. Um, another thing, um, don't be afraid to get help. Sometimes we, we're in pain and we think, no, I'm not going to go to the doctor. I'm not going to go to a ch chiropractor or, or whatever, a physical therapist. I'm, no. And it's like, here's the thing. First off, it's not. It, does, it's, it doesn't mean that you have a lack of faith if you get help from some, from a professional. And it's not a weakness. Okay. What, what do you do if you get shot? Well, you get the bullet wound treated and you get the bullet out of your body. It's not something that you have to feel ashamed about. It's the same thing when your body is 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 you know in a bad place or when your brain is in a bad place. I. It, it's hard to talk about stuff like this because. People who are in chronic pain are typically already discouraged. And so you're trying to tell them, hey, it's all right. And they're so used to being discouraged and for people treating them, kind of talking down to them or whatever, that's just kind of difficult. You know, when when you realize that you can't do these things that you really wanted to do or maybe that you used to do, that's just – that's a difficult place to be in. Um, don't feel like you're wasting away if you are um, out of commission. You're doing what's necessary. You're, you're getting bed rest. You're getting, you know, uh, maybe you'll get better, maybe you won't, but I can guarantee you that um, getting restless and doing something stupid isn't going to help you feel any better. Um, if you are confined to your bed, well, there's there's that. Now, if it's a, it's, if it's a weight issue, it's a little bit easier um, because there is a, a way forward. You know, losing weight definitely does help, and I do want to encourage you with that. Um, if you have made a habit of just poor health habit and poor health lifestyle, um, there, changing how you eat and exercise and those kinds of things gradually, obviously, work up to it. Not just you know, all of a sudden you'll give yourself a heart attack, um, but it is something that that will will affect. It will will definitely have a have a change there. Um, so um, another thing. Let me see where I'm at here. Okay, here's another thing. Uh, remember that pain will pass. Maybe it'll pass in this life, maybe it'll pass in the next life, but eventually it will pass. The thing is, don't give up. And see, that's incredibly difficult to tell people that because it's like, so you want me to keep going day in and day out, pain, 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 pain. I know, I know. But please don't give up. You are a hope to someone else in your in your courage to just keep going. Um, it, you know, if if you need to take medication, don't feel like that's a sin. You know what? I, I don't get I don't get how people get off believing that opioids are totally fine and then saying if somebody takes marijuana, it's bad. I think that there's a problem there. Opioids are way more harmful than marijuana. Now, um, there's you know a lot of things that, that, that can be treated uh, with marijuana, um, and it seems like a better – from a scientific standpoint, it seems like a better option than, than um, some of those medications. I mean some of those are just rough. Sometimes you do have to take something like opioids, so it really just – it is person-specific. I guess the behind all these things is just have an open mind. Whether it's you who is in chronic pain or whether it's someone else who's in chronic pain, remember just have an open mind about these things and, and not to go into it with this preconceived idea, I know why this person's suffering. I know why. You know what I mean? And it's just not only that, but like let's say, for instance, you have someone who's severely overweight, overweight and they're in a lot of pain. Do you think it will encourage them or discourage them, cause them to keep going or cause them to give up if you just point, well, you're just fat? Maybe if you'd stop being so fat and eating so much. Well… There's just a right way and a wrong way to do things. I mean, that might be true. You know, maybe maybe they should uh, change their eating habits and you know try to lose weight. Absolutely, that that's not a bad thing. Being overweight has a lot of health health problems. But you know, if there's some, there's some things that, that can't be fixed, and then there's some things that can be fixed, but only in part. Um, for instance, um, losing weight will oftentimes help with a lot of different conditions. Um, but anyways. Um, and then there's some things that are just in your in your uh, a mental struggle that we tell ourselves we can't get, like okay for instance I'm done with depression therefore there's nothing I can do because I'm depressed and I mean you can't choose whether to be depressed or not but you can choose whether to just throw in the towel or not um, so uh, another thing is find a way to still do things 
maybe not the same things, but to still do something. You don't have to just sit there and stare at the wall. Find a way to do something. Um, be creative. Be creative with what you can do, how you can do it. And uh, with that being said, also focus on what you can do rather than, you, rather than your limitations. If your focus is on all the things you can't do, that's just going to make you miserable. Um, learn to appreciate the little things. Um, maybe, uh, maybe a painting you really like. Maybe just looking out the window. Maybe um, listening to music. I don't know. Appreciate the little things in life, things that you oftentimes took for granted. Maybe if you're in pain all the time um, and you get a good night's sleep. You know, focus on those good things. Um, and you know, that might seem unfair, but remember that most of the people who aren't in chronic pain, they they just go through life in this increasingly quick way of just not even paying attention. And their life is just blowing past them. And they have things like they wake up without pain and they completely take it for granted. So, I mean, maybe that's not much encouragement to you. Maybe something in here that I say will be an encouragement to you. Um, start a hobby that you can do. Um, so maybe something new. Or continue a hobby that you used to do. Um, learn to embrace and accept it rather than to get bitter or live in denial. Sometimes we, we, we have this chronic pain and we think, no, it'll just go away. Like Christian science was real big in this. Just deny that there's a problem. Okay. Um, Christian science is a, is a cult. I don't know if you knew that or not. Um, or sometimes we just get bitter about it, like mad and upset in our spirit and just kind of unsettled. But there there has to be a point when you realize, this is the hand that I've been dealt. I don't like it. I don't have to like it. That is how it is. So instead, of learning to embrace and accept it. This is this is the boat that I'm in. Sometimes there's a lot of there's a lot of Christians who have this idea that you don't 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 accept it because then it like solidifies it or something. I don't I don't know. It's just it's this weird belief that you can just it, whatever you accept as a re, as a physical reality um, is whatever it is. So basically the idea is that as you um, work through something, um, you can just deny it and it'll not have a hold or something or whatever. Um, but here's the thing: we all have limitations to different degrees. Some of us has have uh, limitations as far as uh, what we can do physically. Um, you know, some of us have limitations for what we can do mentally. Um, maybe it doesn't seem fair to you, but remember that your struggle is your own, just as somebody else's struggle is their own. Um, that's just kind of the way it is. So learn to embrace the the boat that you're in. This is where I'm at. Complaining isn't going to do anything. What can where can I go from here? And uh, it's a hard place to be in, but it's really a necessary place to be in because if you just keep complaining and finding the worst in every situation, you, it, it, it'll win. Um, find encouragement and motivation. If you have to search the internet, uh, find something encouraging. Encouraging quotes, uh, encouraging books, um, something that motivates you. Um, maybe... Um, Maybe something like having a pet spider or snake that you can just watch it move and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I'm throwing out ideas here. Um, discover something that, that soothes you. Not just your, your physical pain. I mean your in, internally, inside here, something that soothes you. Maybe it's music. Um, discover new music. Maybe you're into rock. Listen to classical. You know. Uh, so discover what soothes. Um, another thing, and this is kind of the last idea I have for now, well, like I say, this is something we'll have to return to in the future, connect with someone. Don't try and, um, you know, I don't need anybody, I can just keep going, I can get through this by myself. Don't, don't have that attitude. You, you need people, you need, we all as people need each other, it's just something that, um, that you really have to be careful because, <sighs> Treating it like I don't need anybody else is just going to cause it where you don't have anybody to lean on in your weak moments. So I hope that something in here helped. Um, I know that everybody's different, and maybe some of these things were just irritating. Maybe some of these things were encouraging. I don't know. Um, but if even one thing in this video helped, focus on that one thing and, and implement it in a way that, that keeps you from giving up. Um, I'll try and make another video in the future about more ideas about how to live with uh, chronic pain. But uh, anyways, you have a great, great day, and I, and I really hope that you find um, some kind of peace and uh, an end to the pain. Okay, see ya.